Hey guys, this is Justin with Window Climbers. Right now you're looking at a really bad hard water window. And today we're going to show you how to clean it with steel wool and a product called Lime Away. And the reason we're showing you how we're doing these, uh, these windows is one, so you can kind of see how good our service is. And then two, we have a lot of people that are, uh, that are sharing our content, but they're do-it-yourselfers. And so we want to thank them by showing them how they can do their windows themselves just as good as we can do them. So anyways, so if you want to put in the work, this is how you do it. So what I'm going to do here is first, I'm going to clean the dirt off the window. So I'm going to get my brush wet. You can't see that. I'm sorry. But anyways, clean the dirt off the window just to see how much hard water is left. So if it's just dirt, then this mopping and squeegeeing will take the dirt right off. Uh, but if you've got hard water, which we've got right here, then, well, let's just say that it's a little bit tougher than, uh, than you would probably like if you didn't know the secret. So first, let's just give it a little bit of steel wool to see how much is coming off. So we're getting some off with this, but it's leaving a little bit of, uh, just little bits and pieces behind that are like almost etched into the glass. It's really hard to get off. And instead of scrubbing for 30 minutes, we're gonna show you how to use a product called Lime Away. So we're just gonna take this, we're gonna spray it on here. And it's best to use this without water, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna clean the window off right first and then squeeze it so it's dry. And then just take your, your steel wool and then you're just gonna use the product itself to, to clean the window, so no water. It's just better, it, it doesn't, the steel will last longer if you do it this way. Anyways, you're gonna wanna wear a mask because this stuff does smell. Um, anyways, and if you're in a window well, then it's, you don't get as much ventilation, so you wanna wear a mask. But yeah, so you just scrub away, scrub that product on there. And as you're scrubbing, you'll feel resistance between the steel wool and the between the steel wool and the window, the hard water on the window. And you can kind of gauge as to how clean the window is based off of how much resistance is still there as you're scrubbing. Uh, it's not a perfect gauge, but it, it does help a little bit. So um, anyways, keep that in mind. So I'm gonna scrub this really fast and we'll squeegee it and we'll see what we have left. And uh, then we'll probably end the video. Okay, so I'm focusing on the, the upper parts. It's not all gonna come clean the first go. You may think it comes clean by looking at the camera, but my camera isn't quite good enough to, to show you every little bit. So I'm gonna have to do it again after I end the video, but this is, uh, we're getting closer here. We're getting closer here. Okay, I'm gonna squeegee it, we'll see what we have. And uh, yeah, you will know our secrets. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, here we go. So already it looks a lot bit better, but you might be able to see this, but you've got more steel wool, uh, you've got more uh, hard water that's kind of etched into the glass. It's gonna take more scrubbing, which I'm gonna do in a second. But anyways, look how much cleaner it is than it was when we started. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Anyways, and I'm not worried about streaks and anything right now, but uh, yeah, so that's kind of how we do it. And then you can take your pad you can see a lot better if you don't have it covered in the product, right? You can see the hard water and stuff, what you have left. Then you can just take your, your uh, Lime Away covered um, steel wool pad, and then you just work on those specific areas. 
and it does take scrubbing. So that's why a lot of people will give us a shot and hire us because we, we do this all the time. So we're, we're pretty good at doing it quickly. And it's, uh, it saves them a ton of time. But if you want to do it yourself, just watch this video a couple times and you'll be experts. All right, let's see if I can get this top orange and clean here before I, before I end the video so you can see. All right, let's just see how clean we are now. Uh, we're looking better, but we still got some more work to do. But anyways, that's how we do it. We make sure that our windows look really clean when we're done. Uh, so it, sometimes it takes us a while, but we get it all done. So this is how you do it. Sometimes it's a lengthy process, but the finished product is well worth it. Take care, guys.